E ni mi ni my ni mo. Which mouse shall I work for now? That was not the decision. Let's now go for video review now. Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today I'm going to review a very interesting mouse from a company called Jelly Comb. This one has a red ball on it and um, basically what it is is that four months ago I actually bought uh, with my own expense a very interesting mouse. This is the vertical mouse from Jelly Comb and I'm loving it. As you can see from some of my other previous videos, this is my prime mouse that I use all the time. And um, the reason for it is ergonomically well designed for long term use. It's very light and also the click is really uh, silent as well. And the battery life is just phenomenal actually. I I just inject one uh, AA battery and it's still lasting and I'm expecting the battery to run out but it's still going good and despite actually I work sometimes 12 to 15 hours a day it's it's going well and um, I'm really impressed with it so um, I just want to see how this ball works I always wanted to own a mouse with a red ball on it but I, I just thought it was a bit overpriced but this one is jelly comb I have huge respect for jelly comb by using this mouse so I'm really excited to see how well it will perform so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes right so let's get this tape out okay moment of truth nicely packed and that's about it I guess what else to explain but um Nice, look at that. That red ball. I presume this uh, cover is just protecting that red ball to not fall out. Oh, it doesn't fall out. I was expecting it to fall out. Anyhow, let's look at the... Wow, look at that. And um, we've got the USB one option here. And that's pretty cool, I would say. I see, so you have to charge it with a um, USB-C which is really good because USB-C is becoming very common, isn't it, nowadays? So the usual manual. So I'll just go through that if I have any problems. But we're all good to go. So currently it's actually connected to a USB jelly comb. So let's take that out. And for the sake of the connectivity test, what I will do is uh, set it up this uh, new um, jelly comb mouse with a Bluetooth connection. But before we get into that, just to explain to you some of the buttons here. This, so this is the forward and backwards. Uh, obviously we know the ball is the main feature for scrolling and there's a DPI button and also this is for Bluetooth connection by the way people. So let's say if you were to click on that you can see number two, number three lights flashing and then the way how you could set it up is by pressing it for a few seconds and then you could start to see the flashing light. And that's when the computer will be able to detect the Bluetooth connection to set it up. And this is just a, a light bulb for when it's charging it, you'll see the red button, so red bulb um, popping up. So that's pretty much it. So let's get the Bluetooth set up. So here it goes. All right, so add on the Bluetooth button and we shall hopefully see something called bluetooth some oh here it is the bluetooth 4.0 by um 2.4 gigabyte mouse here it goes let's see if that's connected it's all ready to go here it goes it's all done and the setting up of the device is done so yeah that's a very eerie kind of feeling okay uh, so now i'm on to the autocad um, so let's zoom out to see how my movements are, just to demonstrate how things are working. Right, so to start with, we got this really a lot of rubbery kind of uh, bottom so that it does like cause friction not to move your mouse. In other words, all the scrolling should be done by moving your ball basically here. So that would be the main cursor. So I can see that this is quite a, an airy feeling actually. So to one of the crucial thing about using AutoCAD is that you need to zoom in and zoom out and move very quickly. That's one of the crucial thing uh, to operate, draw up all these lines. And you can see the response. This is on a Bluetooth connection. It's really fast. It's just like, you know, no difference whatsoever. Just immediate reaction to your um, 
mouse well actually the ball <laughs> and um, yeah my brain is trying to keep encouraging me to move the mouse but in fact it's actually very stiff uh, so reminding my brain again not to move it but move your uh, balls and um, yeah that, that's really cool I like that um, I, I just let's see if I could just draw some line here and um, yeah that's really cool so you go to do that that wow that's really really interesting indeed uh, so yeah I could see that I could really speed up once I get the hang of it but my brain is still struggling to understand it's like uh, you've been given a brand new sort of controller like maybe you're switching from automatic to manual <laughs> kind of that sort of feel when you're trying to drive kind of feel um, but I guess the brain will soon get used to it so I need some bit of a time to uh, train myself up on my brain um, but that's pretty good actually <laughs> I like that it's just so nice I mean the looks of it it looks so cool as well both of them and the quality itself once you actually touch it you know it's a proper mouse and the company is called Jellycomb and I, I'm really falling in love with all their products they really do provide a really high quality product here and um, that's really good now obviously we could go for um, the forward and backward button to see how well it responds to um, it's immediate obviously uh, that's very good I like that and that click sound it's kind of feels nice actually but the main left and right is exactly the feel that you get for the vertical mouse as well it's like a really sort of silent feel that so if you actually yeah can you hear that you can barely hear that um, it's really silent and that's really good I love that initially I was puzzled why this mouse doesn't actually have a battery slot like the vertical mouse I have here which the battery is still lasting ages it's, I don't know when it's gonna run out for one AA battery but now thinking of it it does make a lot of sense because this mouse is designed to be stationed not move around in other words while you're charging when the battery is low it will not interrupt the charging cable itself so you will hardly feel the difference while you're charging or not charging it's just the visual disruption of a bit of a mess there but um, it makes perfect sense so well done for that well look at that so this is basically the um, the quick fee you can get for using this ball rolling around uh, the accuracy and also I need to train up myself for the game for that but um, the amount that you can speedily move it around is just amazing I can see the huge advantage of playing games like PUBG with such a uh, mouse and it's really impressive well done for that um, so look at that yeah so that's scrolling up and down and also just like well various ways of moving around it's almost making you dizzy but um, I hope I made my point so overall it's a beautiful mouse I mean it's like if you see on the front way it looks like an alien kind of uh, shape and um, once you actually place it on your desk it kind of reminds you like hey you got to touch that red ball to operate uh, do some work S stop slacking off that kind of reminder and it gives you a bit of a sense of pride that you're using a proper mouse uh, to be able to work and that you know it might be a small item but it does make a huge difference um, impression for your working environment as well so um, overall by the way Jellycomb again I would like to highlight is a really high quality product you might actually feel immediately when you grab it it's a bit light but for after you use it for about a um, few hours you realize that there are a lot of uh, thoughts have been put into this design and um, all I need to do now is just get used to this sort of control the big question will be if I were to use this mouse for about 12-15 hours every day would my thumb really start to hurt because I could clearly see that the reason for a station mouse is to protect your whatever those um, illness that you get for long-term use of mouse so that will be one of the questions I need to come back to you on it but overall I'm really impressed with Jellycomb and I'm really looking forward to see other products what sort of products they have and how uh, well they design but so far Jellycomb has been top-notch company that I have been dealing with so far so uh, well done Jellycomb if you have any questions regards to this product or any other things that I demonstrated on this video please do comment below and uh, thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye